I want to show you something. We've got some new furniture in the studio this week that we've been sent in. It's kind of a fitness thing. These are called Hawaiian hula chairs. They're meant to help you firm up all over. If we could bring one out, if you'll bring that out, and I will demonstrate it for you. I, I've only had the briefest one. OK, so this is a... You put it at home, so you could use it as a chair for watching TV and so on and so forth, but it's also... It's an exercise device, OK? You plug it in, it's got the electricity. Sit down, it's like that. And then, for your exercise purposes, there's a button here, and you can set different speeds and so on. OK, I'm going to show you... Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether you're meant to keep your feet up or, or whether you're meant to put them down. Oh, look, it's taking me the other way now. I feel like I'm on a magic mix. If I had a pint of milk, I can make some butter. It's gone off again. Gee, oh, oh. oh, look, relaxed and elegant here. <laughs> oh, it's taking me the wrong way. Oh. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> it's gone off again. <laughs> Go on. Ooh. I tell you what, if I could master this move, Jane would have a treat in store for when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Harry Hill show if he had hair and, and contact lenses, isn't it? Ha <laughs> 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 OK. Oh! Look at that. That's not... That's not something you want to see. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I better, I better have a wipe before I get home, cos she'll be asking some questions otherwise. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I do feel a little firmer. I do feel a little firmer. Uh, <laughs> and you know... <laughs> 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 It's just not funny. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Watch out. It's ridiculous. Well, you just write a script. Care yeah. Careful, Clarkson. Watch out for your hips, Grandpa. Just it, stop it! <laughs> Make it stop. Just say, introduce me, quickly. Uh, no. <laughs> I think mean, Lawrence, up. we follow up. But Lawrence, how come you still look cool on it? <laughs> You're still looking cool. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Peter looks when he's going on with the train to Bolton. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Shall we get my first guest out? <laughs> we better have before he realises there are no birds in the green room. Will you please welcome Ooh. Mr Jeremy Clarkson? Yes. <laughs> Do you, feel, do you feel noticeably firmer around no. the middle after that? Why don't you just write a funny script? Because that was nice. It wasn't I nice. I enjoyed I mean... seeing you on the exercise machine. It's a fantasy I've had for some time. I don't mind admitting it. <laughs> what possible benefit is there in that chair? I think it does your core it stability in the middle it area. It just hurts and makes you look stupid. Would you, uh, <laughs> if you were to review it, uh, how would you describe it? Jeremy? That it hurts and makes you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All exercise is a complete waste of time. Well, looking at you, if you're working out, obviously it is. Everybody I know who does exercise is permanently in agony. <laughs> Sit in a chair like this. Yeah. Nothing That's will hurt. Excellent. You know what? I do admire your lifestyle, but you know, you know what? Because you're not blessed by, and don't, don't take this wrong way, but you're not a vain man, clearly. No. Okay. Um, but you kind of have made a bit of an effort tonight, I think. Uh, I, mean, you look I quite promise smart. I haven't. What I did was I left the Top Gear test track about an hour ago. Wow. Drove pretty fast, and here I am wearing what I was wearing on the test track. I uh, didn't know when you were driving, presumably, do people. You, uh, if I was driving along and I saw Jeremy Clarkson in the car afterwards, because I know that you are, you know, Britain's number one car person, I would be excited to see you driving. I would want to see how you were driving. I would check out your driving skills. I might want to have a little race with you, mm -hmm. I don't know, on mm -hmm. a safe road. Um, you know, do, do you think that's the kind of. Do people respond that way to you? Yeah. Are they excited to see you behind yeah. the wheels of a vehicle? Absolutely. And what, it would be good to, to think that I'd learn, learned over the years not to race them, but I haven't. So, so a, 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 a 17, 18-year-old boy yeah. at the lights pulls up in a kind of souped-up, I don't know... Uh, it happened, it happened on the way here. Renault Clio, it was. Oh. Two guys, Renault Clio, giving it all the reds. <laughs> They're still there. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, and what about the police? Do they kind of look kindly on you and the Top Gear fellas, or do they pull you over? And they what, what do they do? Yeah, do we had an interesting one. We were filming up in the northeast last week, and I had a small car crash. Mm, it's quite a big car crash, but anyway, a car <laughs> crash. And the police came, but the police were there anyway because we were filming. So the cameras were turning, and the police said, "I'm sorry, but we have to breathalyze you." And I said. Well, uh, it's not really, it's television. He said, no, no, we have to. You've had a car accident, we must breathalyse you. The law. Now, I don't know about you, I don't, when was the last time you were breathalysed? Oh, I've never been breathalysed. Really, yeah. never? I've never been breathalysed. Well, I have I've twice, actually, in the last couple of weeks, but... Uh, <laughs> weirdly. But well, it, was, it was interesting, because the cameras were on, and I had this breathalyser, and thought, oh, God, what... It, it was around 10 o'clock in the morning. I only had a glass of wine last night. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Or was it two? And you have this incredible guilt. A feeling even of though guilt. Yeah. It came up zero. I mean, I was completely yeah. fine. But there's nothing more scary, nothing in life, apart from some diagnoses that you get at the doctors, I would imagine, <laughs> that are worse, but that nothing rivals a taking a breathalyzer test. Uh, OK. On the one hand, you seem somewhat reactionary, and I know this is a front you put on a little bit. Mm. On the other hand, you're very much... You, you are in touch with the modern world. You enjoy the benefits of the modern I world. I love the modern world. But you're not a gimmicky person as such, or are you? Is your car kind you of kitted gadgety? out? Yeah. Oh, no, I like a car to be pretty gadgety. I like the telephone and the sat-nav, and I like the sat-nav to tell me where the traffic jams are. I like all that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. But in my car, I have, in the boot of my car, a drinks cabinet. Well, I say drinks, it's drinks and guns. Oh. <laughs> it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A man in Yorkshire made it for me out of American walnut. It's a properly beautiful piece of carpentry. And you pull out a drawer, and in the, there are two shotguns in there, and there's space for all your cartridges. And then the top one, there's six champagne bottles, two whiskey bottles, two thermos flasks for soup with sherry in it, and then all the glasses, all of which are different, all stowed beautifully. It's the most perfect thing. Is this the beginning of a drink problem, then? Having no. The, you have to have it loaded in the boot of the car It's just time. a thing. I just saw somebody else had one and thought, I have got to have one But when do you use it? Um, well, I, I shoot. So you, when you go out to shoot, you go out shooting, innocent, you fluffy, get... cute Bambies and that kind of thing? I don't shoot Bambies. What do you shoot? I shoot birds. I shoot pheasant and partridge, which I eat. You eat them afterwards? I eat them afterwards. Do you cook them first or just... No, no sometimes, I, sometimes <laughs> I eat them. Sometimes I like to fry, but I like... You know, I'm I not... bet you would eat one raw, wouldn't you, if you were hungry? You're the sort of man who just go... Bah! <laughs> Beak. <laughs> Have you ever it. eaten a raw pheasant? No, I once set a duck that was... In Cambodia, there's a speciality, and it's a duck. And it, well, you eat an egg, but it's seven days old. So it's an egg, but there's evidence of feathers and beak in oh, there. Oh, sweet baby Moses in a rush basket. That's <laughs> the most disgusting thing yeah, I just... I've ever heard anyone put in their mouth. And I've no. spent hours talking to those fellas about no. what they do at the weekend. <laughs> The worst thing you can put in your mouth is a shark that they... Do... No, a skate, actually, in Iceland. They bury it but only after weeing on it, and then it stays under the ground for about six months, and then they eat it, and that's like eating... Well, no, it's like licking a hot Turkish urinal. <laughs> Number one is, why would you eat the skate? Number two is, when have you licked a hot Turkish urinal to make such a brilliant I'm imagining. <laughs> I'm imagining what that would be. One of those little blue things in a urinal. That would be the mm. worst thing you could possibly eat. Yeah, I think possibly. so. I'd okay. try it. OK. Uh, you probably would, wouldn't you? I would put anything in my mouth. Well, we've got... <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> hey, hey, Clarkson. It would not be Christmas without a uh, Jeremy Clarkson DVD sitting on the shelf unwatched for several days. Um, <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But no, they're huge sellers. They are. Uh, Jewel is the new surprised. one. Uh, you, I, you know what I like about them is you always do look like you have a great time making it. It must be you get stuff Brilliant. out of your system. And I guess you can do even things you can't do on the show. Would I be no, right? no, no, it's nothing that you can't do. But I tell you what it is, a lot of people... I mean, for instance, on Sunday night's show, James Bay makes a, a caravan airship. Yeah. <laughs> which is brilliant, it's very funny, but it's not really about cars. And yeah. so the, the DVDs allow me to just go off and be a bit more car-y. OK. For people who like cars. Uh, like I, well, you do like cars, and you they also do. like destroying cars that uh, don't meet your high standards, don't you? Absolutely. Okay. Let's have a look at the clip. This shows a little bit of uh, both Jeremy's love of cars and his destructive urge. <laughs> that looks great. I like those fast cars you're waiting there. They look fantastic. It is. There's something... It's a marvellous racetrack out there, but the best bit in that, I don't know if you saw it, it was Kate Silverton, the newsreader. We, invo we wanted to find Britain's fastest off-road celebrity, so we had her and, uh, and uh, Matt Dawson and Ronan Keating come down. She, and she completely 
went mad. I've never seen the light. She went down this hill, and they told her not to go very far. She went flat out. You probably just saw it there. It was a brief bit. Took off, and when she landed, yeah, so there's her whole body will have just concertinaed down like was an she, accordion. Uh, she okay afterwards? She, no, she's mad. She's properly mad, that girl. Okay, um, before you go, you know, um, your hair over the years has changed dramatically, as all of us have. Oh, God, thanks very sit much. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> this is fabulous. You'll love this. is the, the best one we found. I don't know what was going on here. Do you know what was going on here? Well, you've, got, you've got a huge head of hair yes, on you. Just, I mean, just you, have a look. Just yeah. get on and, with and, it. And what I love about it is it's Clark's early days. This is the, the first time I've heard anyone so fervently denying that there's any possibility that global warming is a reality. <laughs> okay, you'll see this is. And, and he's even in the studio with a red lamp on him to make him look hot. It's like they're deliberately trying to make it look as finished as possible. Look at this. <laughs> Now, I have to say... Can I just interrupt that again? I have just been electrocuted. I, I, I think we know what's causing the hole in the ozone layer. It's the amount of hairspray you <laughs> use in the cubicle. <laughs> <so long. laughs> that was... I, I must have been standing on one of the cables in the studio. What was going on? Where, what was that for? Well, I must presumably... I know even... <laughs> even today I look in a mirror from time to time. <laughs> I must have just not... But look at it. <laughs> and I, but the sentiments still hold true. You know what? You know what it looks like? If you squint a lot, it looks like Suzanne Boyle. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. Mm. I'd rather listen to Susan, <laughs> Susan Boyle than that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's, uh, I think, a splendid guest, but he's also uh, a thoroughly entertaining TV personality and uh, a brilliant man to know. Mr Jeremy Clarkson. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank you.